ES back above the 1A on the weekly aspect. We have a nice build out here. Pretty uh, very nice, even this distribution symmetrical build across the week itself. And um, kicker here is from, from what I was planning on the week is that above this 58, 20 to 24, you cannot fight it. And I want to take a look at that first, the activity that went into it and, and uh, kind of make some reference on Okay, is this area a, a zone of resistance or are we not seeing the activity that we want now? Um, but from here, essentially, this uh, 58, 16 to the 1A, so the 1A down to 58, 16, uh, unless that's breached aggressively, uh, not concerned about countering this particular move. We're building volume up here and we're not able to show any further activity back inside of that current build. And so let's zoom in and discuss the day a little bit. So today made reference to been ideal to grab some rebid down below us, but such as an overnight push below and fail, that would have been very clear. Instead, we push up and we start to build just above the uh, balance zone. So the 5804 half area. And we had this area of uh, the 20s in mind. Now, in doing so, we don't even get a pause. We just jam straight through it. This is this comes back to discussion of uh, rebid and reoffer. Let them sh let the let the market show its hand. And so, had we come up into this and seen some sort of aggressive initiative activity that pushed us back inside, even if it beeline straight back to 5804, that's where I'd be looking then to reoffer this. Instead, we jam through this, we pretty much go sideways. And if we look at a volume profile from that activity up here, we have this, okay? So this is through that move into the highs. And when you're looking at a live volume profile, this up here doesn't make a lot of sense. Great. All right. So this is where what I'd be doing is looking at the backside of this profile, right? Backside. Where's my deepest LVN? So we have an LVN here. We have one here. And so this gives me a zone. Clearly on the five-day rolling, we have that as well, All right? Now, this in between is an absolute mess. So what can happen? Well, we can rotate around and build out a node. And so we push up. We start to come back in, come back in with a nice tag down into those primary LVNs. And let's watch the volume profile build out with this. We build out a node. And now what we drew before, back here from the highs, where we're looking at this and going, okay, we're push build, push build, push build. We're leaving a lot of poor structure where does this actually flip? Certainly that lower distribution, if you're having trouble differentiating where the primary LVNs are, then change, change your uh, reference point in that locate the prior distribution. So it's pretty clear that's the prior distribution, right? All right, let's start there. From that, okay, yep, that's a primary LVN. Uh, this in the middle, okay, yep, I would classify that pretty darn deep, nice acceleration through there. And certainly we have this, this, and this, but I would not categorize that as primary versus what is just around that lower distribution. Instead, I would look at this through here and say, huh, okay, we have this. If we start to get some, uh, some profit taking and so forth, then we can build this out and this profile can look like that, all right? So just want to try to get you in the habit of, of identifying where that inventory flip changes um, on the session itself. And so if looking at the LVN, like to me, I prefer that manner in that regard, looking for the primary LVN. But, it, but there's a lot of questions that I get in DMs and so forth about this that uh, come back and say, okay, well, is this one or is this one or, and I'll get examples. Start with this. 
where's your last distribution? Boom, right there. All right, let's build from there. So if we have activity above, do we have distributions up above? Yep, here, 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 here. I mean, that's that's pretty messy. And so being that we have this, I wanna see more of that. And so what would make sense, what would just make sense would be to build this out. Now, had we come back inside of this, what about targets? We come back inside of this. I would be looking at this going, okay, where can we flip POC, potentially pause? I'd be looking right here. Why? Because this is the next highest volume node versus the POC at hand. Therefore, I would expect some activity in here, filling in the rest of this before decision out of that or that. So that's just a hypothetical in how I think about this. And so that will come to play here when we discuss the next thing. But um, this morning, once we push above, we have an area identified above this distribution where we look at this and say, we wanna be able to manage risk to the nth degree. And therefore, we have this, this distribution below us, these primary LVNs. And if this goes, then, well, we're going back. It's more easily read here on the five-day rolling, certainly. But on the live build, as you're watching this fill in, you're watching this happen. And at the same time, is there another nuance here to the volume profile on ES after hitting this high that suggests that, hey, we're not done yet. And that is the top of this profile, it's a ledge, okay? So we have a ledge up in the 40s. That alone um, keeps me away from trying to, trying to innovate any type of short. If anything, it says put on the brakes, let's be patient, let's look for a pullback in the appropriate bid, even if, boom, even if you're not looking right in the zone, you see that response, then we wanna rebid these. We want to rebid these best we can and mitigate risk down and against these LVNs and 20s until we clear that. Once we clear that, then that becomes a uh, line in the sand on the intraday aspect. We don't want to be uh, long if this clears this and comes back inside because we don't want to give up another eight points or so forth on that, on that uh, type of trade. But we see a ledge. At the highs, we've identified distribution below us. We know where the primary LVNs are. We're building out, and we push the ledge. Push the ledge, and what do we get? Potential for LVN return, right? Push the ledge. And here we are. We have this distribution, and this down here. Yeah, I know it's Flowbex, but um, I think you get, I think you're picking up what I'm putting down there. So essentially, if we give up these 20s and so forth, then I would expect us to push down and test back into this prior distribution and pit balance zone. Otherwise, tests into the zone um, between 14 and up to 22. Want to see a responsive bid. Want to see that step in and protect so forth in order to um, maintain the progress that was made here through this bid, okay? It doesn't mean I wanna get, it doesn't mean I wanna arbitrarily just get long uh, based upon uh, uh, something willy nilly, but watch your structural tools. Early indication of this here, even in Globex, is gonna be your pivot right here, 5832. So we're respecting that currently. And we got POC up here. We're just in this distribution on the four or on the five day rolling. So let's pay attention to this zone coming in tomorrow. I know we have some news, um, but be aware of that. With NQ here, push build here, we're on the one A. Uh, we get no pause and stop here at that zone that we expect a response from. Instead, we're building this out. And so down here at the uh, 370 range, Let's pay attention to that. 370 to the 1A, 416. Is that a wide zone? Yeah, absolutely. But if it becomes 
um, something that's pushed through, traversed, and, and initiated, then the reoffer has a lot of meat on the bone. Where can the, let's talk ES first, where, if we get back underneath this LVN, where can Hawk shift to if we begin to accelerate back towards previous week's value? Huh. Next highest uh, high volume node is down here at 5780s. Okay. Right around previous week's value or high. Right. So if we come through that LVN, then my my scenario around this would be build out volume and rotate around this node between 5720s down to uh or 5820s down to um pivot rotate through here potentially shift hawk here catch a bid back up reoffer and just rotate through this and leave value overlapping with the prior few weeks but back to NQ. So right here, let's take a look at this from the quicker time frame right in here. So this morning, um, pretty uneventful start to the day underneath pivot. We're not able to get a push down in for a reasonable rebid. We just jam up and out. And once we get outside of the uh, 328s, um, what we get on the live build of the profile is this. Okay. We have this notch up here. Oh boy. And we come back in. We rebid that, and we have pretty much an arbitrary sense of uh, these 311s. See how this pushes out? Jam, push, build, push, build. And once we start to auction down in, okay, right here, still above the pit bound zone, there's no potential for LVN return. We have this like uh, we have this cave of activity, primary LVN right here at 308s, and we push down and we're rotating around building volume, and then we drive up again. We start to get our line in the sand, and this here, in the same manner as a yes, pushes up like this. We have a dirty little volume profile right there on the five day rolling. Um, well, it's clear now, but on the live build there through this, we know this is our primary from the 350s to the 370s right in here. So even if we wait to see that test into that prior zone and fail, then it should be seeking bid for continuation, seeking bid for continuation. We drive up again, and we fill out that note. So keep your eyes on um, this here, between 370s and 350s. Certainly, we have to pay attention to the uh, pit balance zones in the event that we test down into the distribution from the five day rolling in here. But if we see an aggressive bid out of that, then rebidding up and above the 60, 70 range here is appropriate for continuation. If we see us uh, slap down into the balance zone, we're, we're holding steady between 28 and 50, then uh, in my opinion, that would look like a reoffer for a push down into uh, the lower distribution. So I hope that explanation and visualizing the profile is beneficial. Uh, please give me feedback on that if it was not clear. Uh, I'm trying to get us all speaking the same language. That way you understand what, we're do what I'm doing with preps and so forth. Um, and so looking forward to tomorrow. Everybody be um, have a wonderful night, get some rest. Be safe if you're in an area of risk uh, with the recent hurricane, and uh, we'll chat in the morning.